Cucumbers are a favorite garden crop, but sometimes they fail or don't produce well if you don't follow a few key steps. I'll show you what they are and how I grow my cucumbers so we have enough to eat, preserve, and sell some in our farm store. Cucumbers love heat. They're very sensitive to cold temperatures and cold soil temperatures. Oftentimes we get really anxious that we want to plant our cucumbers the same time we do tomatoes and peppers. But tomatoes and peppers can tolerate cooler temperatures than our cucumbers can. If we wait until our temperatures are consistently warmer and our soil temperature is at least 50 degrees or warmer, our cucumbers are going to thrive and do so much better. I plant my tomatoes and peppers around April 15th. That's our last average frost date, but I actually wait until around the 15th or later in May to get my cucumbers in the ground. And I like to plant them from seed. They come up really quick and they're really robust when I do them from seed. They'll catch up to any transplants that I plant as well. Cucumbers grow so fast that you'll be eating tomatoes and peppers at the same time you'll be eating your cucumbers even though you planted them a month later. There's pickling cucumbers and slicing cucumbers. Pickling cucumbers are really great when you want to preserve your cucumbers. And then the slicing cucumbers, they're really good for fresh eating. But there's no reason that you can't eat a pickling cucumber fresh. Or even some of your slicing cucumbers can be fermented and they can turn out really good. I have a really good fermented pickle recipe and I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. If you're limited on space, then grow a bush variety because these do better in pots and small spaces. A really good one that I like is Space Master. I plant about 15 pickling cucumber plants or seeds and this will provide me enough that I can preserve enough for our winter consumption plus have some for our market day. This produces about 60 to 70 pounds in a season. I like to plant about 15 to 20 slicing cucumbers of different varieties. That just offers us different colors, different flavors, and different textures. So it's kind of fun to put those in our farm store as well. And each plant is going to produce anywhere from 10 to 20 cucumbers per plant. And this will all depend on how happy they are. Another really fun cucumber is the cucamelon. It's also known as a sour gherkin or a mouse melon. They're little tiny, they look like a striped watermelon. They have a tang pickle flavor to them. They're really productive. I planted two plants and I got over a hundred little cucumbers off of them. Now admittedly, they're a little tedious to pick, but nonetheless, they're kind of fun to grow and the kids love them. Cucumbers really love to eat. By providing the soil with plenty of organic matter and a nitrogen fertilizer before planting really gets them off and going. The vines can grow 10 to 20 foot and for them to produce, they really need plenty of fertility to keep them producing. Cucumbers can actually grow in soil that is almost nearly all compost. I'll add several inches of compost to the soil and some fish meal or even blood meal to the planting area. This will provide enough food till the cucumbers start to actively grow and produce flowers. Then they'll need more nutrition. I'll go over all of that, which is really important in just a minute. If your soil is really heavy and it doesn't drain well, then you can just heap up some good soil or some compost and make a mound to help improve the success of your cucumbers and plant them right in that. Most all cucumbers are climbers, and if allowed to climb, they'll take up a lot less room. So if you plant them on the edge of a raised bed, then you have room on the other side of the bed to plant other crops. I'll plant a second succession of cucumbers where my peas are now using this pea trellis. In June, these peas will peter out because we get hot here. I'll rip those out, put them in the compost pile, and then plant cucumbers on this trellis. Trellises can be anything from an A-frame with bamboo sticks and twine wrapped around them. Cattle panels work great arched over your raised beds. Or even a simple planting of large sunflowers for them to climb up. When you're using sunflowers as a trellis, you'll need to plant the sunflower seeds a few weeks before you actually put your cucumber seeds in. Just so the sunflower trellis system is up and ready to go for your cukes. Once you have your soil all prepped, your fertilizer in, and the trellis system ready to go, sow your seeds about one inch deep and water it in well. Cucumbers will actually start to develop a flower as little as three weeks. I told you they were fast. Right after that, they'll start to develop their cucumber. And so this is when I like to fertilize them with a nitrogen fertilizer. You don't want to be feeding your tomatoes and your peppers a nitrogen fertilizer because you're going to end up with all leafy green and no tomatoes. 
but your cucumbers will absolutely love you for it and be highly productive. I like to use a fish powder for my nitrogen fertilizer. It's really easy to use, inexpensive, and the cucumbers really like it. I like to use half dose of it and I'll use it every two weeks. I'll just mix it up in my water can and pour it right over the soil line. When your cucumber plants start to form flowers, they'll develop them right next to a leaf. There's a few things going on here. A flower, whether it's male or female, and male flowers usually come on first, and a tendril, which attaches to the string or a trellis, and another stem. And these will grow and produce more flowers, tendrils, stems, and so on. Cucumbers are self-pollinating. Each plant contains male and female flowers, so you don't need two plants to get cucumbers. The male flowers usually come on first, followed by the female flower. You can tell the male flower because it only has a stem and a flower. The female flower has an actual little fruit that forms between the stem and the flower itself. If it's pollinated correctly, then the fruit will develop. I like to remove some of these stems. This will help the plant produce more cucumbers on the main stem and allow for more airflow, which reduces disease, especially when you grow in a greenhouse. The plant seems to be healthier this way and the cucumbers don't hide as easy. We don't want huge cucumbers to develop. When they do, they cause the plant to halt its production and produce seed instead. Cucumbers are thirsty. They need that soil to stay moist so that the fruit on them can develop properly. Mulching can really help keep that moisture in the soil. Cucumbers can't really tap into the resources that are much deeper than six inches. If the plant dries out, it's very stressful for them. Just provide regular, thorough watering throughout the root zone without waterlogging the soil. A quick tip is to not plant your cucumber plants near any gourd plants because the gourds really attract the cucumber beetle and cucumbers get attacked heavily by the cucumber beetle. So keeping them further away from each other will lessen that pest pressure. Now you're on the road to successful cucumber growing, harvesting, eating, preserving, and I'll see you in our next episode preserving, bottling, even, even, in any, in any, uh, uh, that's all folks. <laughs>